This is a tutorial showing QuickTime 10's screen recording feature and some optimization techniques that everyone should use to make their screen recordings more pleasant for the audience. The first problem with QuickTime 10 and its screen recording feature is with my setup I've got two 30 inch monitors. Uh, that's fine for me when I'm you know, doing my work but when I'm trying to do a screen recording anyone with a smaller monitor is going to have a very tough time seeing the screen. I can demonstrate that here uh, with a recording I made. Um, as I started playing, uh, you'll see my whole you see my whole desktop, and as I start to open windows, it'll be very difficult to make out any of the text. And as I you know, open up the control panel, now I go to Safari, open up a web page. And again, you can see it's very difficult to see any text. Uh, it'd be fine to, you know, follow, you know, the the motions that I'm making, but it'd be very very difficult to perform any of the same functions that I'm doing if they're trying to copy the text that I'm typing, and what have you. So the first thing that I've done is I've gone into System Preferences and I've set one monitor to a resolution of 1280 by 800 instead of using the default native resolution of 2560 by 1600 I've chosen the smaller resolution number one it's the same size as the smallest monitor uh, that I've got and it's on my laptop 1280 by 800 it's also very close to what the Apple TV displays on a high definition TV which means if I wanted to export this in iTunes and share it um, it would display on a on a TV fairly well as, as well. So that's how I set up the monitor. Now if I go in and use uh, Apple's Universal Access um, System Preference, they provide a an option called Zoom. And when you turn that on, you can now press the control button and use the scroll wheel on the mouse to zoom in and zoom out. Okay, I need to set up one other feature which is in options and that is to when zoomed in the screen image moves continuously with the pointer. Uh, what I like about that is when I zoom in I don't have to worry about where my cursor is. It's always right in the middle of the screen and it moves around very nicely. So that's a very handy feature. It also allows you to, when you zoom in, go over to my other monitor which is set up with this higher resolution of course and you can see I have my full screen real estate from that larger monitor which is pretty nice um, for showing content on multiple screens. Let me zoom out again here and show one other feature which I really like um, which is in the keyboard system preference and show keyboard and character viewer in menu bar so now that I've got that set up if I choose my show keyboard viewer up here in the corner now I've got a keyboard so that anyone watching my screen recording can also see the keys that I press so when I magically make the system preferences appear you can see exactly which keys I pressed. Uh, I think that's a fantastic feature that they've um, provided and everyone should use it when they're doing a screen recording. Uh, now you're probably watching this video to see what other capabilities screen recording provides so let me just bring over my Windows 7 uh, Fusion window and you can see that yes in fact it is recording my motions and I could do a demo of the Windows operating system utilizing the uh, free software that QuickTime 10 provides. Another interesting feature of screen recording is it also allows me to play iTunes. So here you can see I'm actually able to play video which may have some interesting um, benefits as well. So I think that pretty much wraps up this screen recording. I hope to be back to you soon with some additional help and features that you may enjoy.